So the next thing I'm going to talk about here is innings. And this is what we do in a, in a practice where we're saying this whole practice is going to be EMO. And we'll do this inning thing. And, and, th and this, this really gets you game ready. It really gets you game ready. So we're going to play nine innings. And we're going to start with an extra man faceoff. Again, a full field situation. You might not be able to do that in the youth level, but you can start, you know, on the half field with your three attacking man down and they're, they're less one guy. You face it off and you get your personnel on. So we come from an EMO face. And what are we going to do? You know, are we going to put two shorts on the wing? Are we going to put a pole? What personnel is going to be on? How are we going to run them in and out? What are you going to do with your face-off guy? Generally, the face-off guy isn't playing EMO, but at the youth level, he probably is. At the high school level, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Collegiate level, not so much. So by doing an EMO face, you get used to getting your personnel on, and the kids are comfortable with it. Hey, we have an EMO face. I'm on the wing. I'm here. I'm, you, know, you might have a lefty who plays midfield, and you want to start him on attack. It allows you to be prepared for when you get a man-up face. Then that will be the first inning. And we might do that both ways, each time for a minute or 30 seconds. Then we'll do a man down face. What personnel do we want on? Can our face-off guy, who's our best face-off guy, can he take the draw? What if he loses? Do we want to step uh, our man down midi here and have him step over the line to release him? Work on what you, you feel would give your team an advantage there, who you want on the field personnel-wise. Then we'll do a 30-second penalty, a one-minute penalty. Then we do, and very few teams do this. What do you run if it's two men up? You should have a set play where you're sealing and you, and you get a better look, you know? So practice it. What do you do when you're two men down? Sure, you can box it up, or maybe you can put it in a diamond, or maybe you can junk it up and, you know, do that four-man hard for three passes. Hope, hopefully they throw one away, particularly at the youth level, and then go back to a four-man soft. Clearing two men down, riding two men up, and then the unreleasable penalties. You know, we don't prepare for these things. And I think that's a big tenet of, of being an efficient man-up team is be prepared for, like, oh, we got an unreleasable. That's spelled incorrectly, by the way. Uh, is it? Is that an I? That's correct? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, so anyhow, unreleasable penalties. Like, hey, do we want to shoot quick? You know, if we get a goal, we're going to face off. And then do we go back to saying, are we putting our EMO face off team in? Or do we have something different when it's unreleasable? So those are things. And then uh, I got one more clip, but let me get down to this, this point here. The 30-second formation. The 30-second formation, many teams are going to junk you up because they can. They're like, hey, all we got to do is junk it up for 15 seconds. And, you know, it should be pretty easy to kill a 30-second penalty. So you want to have some quick hitters. And I was going to show you one quick hitter that uh, we tend to do, and it's pretty much a simple end line play. So this is a play that you can actually do that's a quick hitter. You can do it at the end of a minute penalty. You move the ball around, somebody threw it away, and you end up doing a real quick hitter. And it's just uh, it's a basketball thing. It's pick the pick, man. You guys probably know it. We'll start the ball here, and we'll do it out of our one. 3-2, and we're trying to get the ball back behind with somebody, doesn't matter who, and it's a real simple play. He's going to drive a little bit, come back, seal, pick. He pops over. He throws it. This guy's coming in to pick the pick man now. He picks and comes here. He's looking for the two passing lanes. It's a simple play. It's like when I watch the national championship games at any level, it's 6-6 six, six at any level. It's tight, and they run a mumbo. You know the mumbo where the guys pick in. <laughs> like, everybody runs the same play. And what's crazy about it is it works. Guys get all, you know, they're all worked up and everything, and they, get, they either get picked or they don't get through the pick or they fail to communicate, and somebody comes wide open. I, I see it all the time, running a simple mumbo. So that, that's a good 30-second hitter. And I, I got another clip here. There it is. This one. This is Carolina. They went to a 1-4. 
Just moving again. The 132 look. They'll get back into it. Oh. That was a quick hitter where they, they simply they simply went from a 132 and they stepped the man back out for a, for a quick shot. I'm one more ahead. So that's a quick hitter. I, I had an opportunity to go down and, and talk to Matt Donowski about his man up uh, last year. And I was like, well, you know, what are you guys doing? And, you know, at, at, at a level like that, it's really just personnel. Guys who can throw it, guys who can catch it and get rid of it, guys who got a quick release and everything. And I said, well, you know, what do you do for a 30-second penalty and a minute penalty? And this is where I thought this would be, you know, uh, something that youth teams could do. When they have a 30-second penalty, they're going to switch a formation. They might start in a 2-3-1. They'll switch, run two guys inside, and they eventually end up in a 1-3-2, calling it from up top. And they simply do, I go, what do you do? When you call the hole, he's like, we say five fast. I go, what's that? Is that a play? He's like, no. We're going to make five fast passes. I go, that's it? He goes, that's it. He's like, interesting. I go, what do you have a minute? He goes, we do ten fast. <laughs> you know, pretty simple stuff. So, you know, I think how do you become better at man down? You know, if you can go over these nine innings where you give them all those different situations, if you can have the guy who's doing your defense – junk it up for you and show you a string, four-man, five-man rotation, shutting the spots, shutting the man. And if you can understand these, you know, this, this one-minute formation versus, you know, in 30 seconds, five fast and ten fast, it makes sense because eventually if you, if you can throw it, and, and not all you teams can do that. High school teams can throw it. But if you can throw it, you really only need to get one guy out of position. And then if you have the vision and if you've taken time and gone over it, if you find that guy, you're going to get a high-quality shot. That's really all Extra Man is. You're trying to get a high-quality shot, a high-quality shot. So I have uh, a clip I want to show you where they do up. Basically, a five fast. Is this the next one, Bri? Okay. I think this is – this might be a five fast. I, I could be wrong here. Yeah, he's carrying. <coughs> this is more set. Maybe this was the 10. And they just get a guy. They get him moving finally in the 1-3-2 three, during exchange. There's no play here. They're just running a formation. They're just trying to get the ball moving. Yeah. Yeah. And that guy shoot. When you say junking it up on defense, what do you mean? When they junk it up, it's when they go and they shut the right wing. Or they shot, they're like, hey. Yeah, and, you know, when you're playing youth, you're at a U13 level or the 20, 21s or however we're doing it like the girls now. And you, you, you know who the best player is. You know, you're like, 45 is their best player. Don't let him get the ball. It, it can really wreak havoc. And, it, you know, it's part of coach. Here's another look that I think this is uh, ends up in a – one, three, two. Again, just movement. And they don't get to their spots. See how they keep moving it and change. But still, it's that one, three, two look. That's real popular. It's tough to, to guard in the collegiate level. Right. You get them up and on the back pipe is exactly right. And then here, here was, a, I think this was a, the quick hitter. But maybe I didn't load it up. Again, that 132 look and just switch it. They don't stay in it too long. And typically man up, your off-ball guys are not moving as much, right? Correct. People are kind of staying in the same spot. As well. When you get them moving, but you see, Carolina, they keep switching and moving a little triangle. They get an inside look. You, you'll see man down. They weren't playing the guy above the restraining line. You know, you have to, you have to, you, you got to shut it down. You got to keep it tight at some point. 